a lot of the solutions that I talk about on Control Paint are technical ones. You know, how to use the brush tool better, how to use a certain command, and in turn, that makes our paintings better. Well, sometimes the best tricks are a lot more simple than that. So here's a painting I'm working on right now, and I am not quite sure about certain aspects of it. In fact, the last time I stopped working on it, I made this note to myself. So this is to say, oh, I think, you know, these two domes are too similar. So what if I were to change the shape of one of them? Now, clearly this is not beautiful, but I have learned over the years that if I'm a little uncertain about something, the last thing I'll do before I stop working for the day is to leave myself a note right here in the document. Because who knows how long it'll be until the next time I actually work on it. But then when I sit down, I'll have a question to answer, which is useful. And I'll also have a little bit of a magic power, which is objectivity. Because when you are working, we'll say before I finish this session, I was zoomed way in and I was doing all these little details. And I have now lost my objectivity. I am worrying about the very, very small scale changes. And I have no ability to look at the big picture and actually judge whether it's good or whether it's bad or what direction it's going in. Now, if you remember other videos in the past, I've talked about flipping the canvas horizontally. This is a great way to get a little bit of objectivity or a fresh set of eyes, if you want to say it that way, because we work a while in one way and then we sort of fail to see any mistakes that are happening. But by flipping the canvas, you get kind of jolted back into objective reality. But even flipping the canvas starts to lose its magic when you've been working for a really long stretch. The next solution I'd suggest is to just stop. Maybe make a note to yourself, but importantly, do something else. Now, some of us don't have the luxury of going, you know, to do a totally different activity. We need to meet deadlines. So what I've taken to doing is just switching paintings. So here I'm going to hit control tab and just switch between two open documents. This is a totally different image. Here I'm working on the block in phase for a much more traditional still life. And I'm looking back at it now and I have this very brief window where I can look at it with fresh eyes and assess what's wrong. Now, what I was trying to accomplish in this phase was to just block in the colors. You can see it's still quite rough. And the immediate thing I notice here is that this cl gray cloth is a much cooler gray than the gray I have placed in here. So my first step immediately is just going to be try and change these values. So I'm not going to do a very careful polish pass. I'm just going to quickly put it in there because it's not going to be long until I lose my objectivity again. Once I sort of adjust to the current status of this painting, it becomes hard to have fresh eyes again. So I might work a while and it could be that I work for, I don't know, two hours at a time on one painting. And then I can control tab back to another one. And this is fresh again. I don't know what psychology it is that makes this possible. I don't know why our brains work this way, but I know that there is extreme power in having a fresh look at something. The particulars of how you work this into your workflow are up to you. Do you leave yourself notes right in the document? Do you keep a sketchbook next to your computer and take physical notes? Or do you just switch back and forth between a couple different paintings? However you do it, I encourage you to give this a try. Objectivity is one of those things that you don't realize that it's gone, but it is. And it's only when you switch to a different document that you actually see that you've been going off the rails. So you don't have to go to sleep at night and wake back up in the morning to make this work. You can just build it right into your workflow. And I think it'll help you. If you have any variations of this idea, we'd love to hear about them in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks for coming to the site.